How the heretics? I have a question to any Jehovah Witness watching my channel because Jehovah Witnesses are very proud that they do not do idol worship. Idol worship is bad. If you look at an object and show very much respect to a certain object, that's idol worship. They are not even allowed to do Mother's Day because it's creature worship, giving flowers to your mother. So they're very strict and they are proud of the cross. They do not use the cross because the cross is a pagan symbol. Well, I would agree with them. However, it's not a strong argument because the cross is something that happens quite often when nature involves more than two sticks. Kind of not really complicated enough, I would say, to be a pagan symbol because it, it just occurs naturally, as do a stake. A stake is also a pagan symbol even in the Bible. So a golden calf, for instance, or a structure, that would be a pagan symbol. And this brings me to Jehovah Witnesses, because there is a God named in the Bible. This is the Jehovah Witness website, jw.org, and it says about the King of the North. But instead, he will give glory to the God of fortresses. So there's a God of fortresses, a fake God. So you have Baal in the shape of a bull, and then you have a God called the God of fortresses. That would be a pretty complicated symbol. How would the God of fortresses look? It would not be a bull. Use some imagination and try to picture a symbol that would represent the God of fortresses. And please explain this to me. I think you get my question by now. He will give glory to the God of fortresses, to a God that his fathers did not know. He will give glory by means of gold and silver and precious stones and desirable things. Gold, silver, copper. For over 130 years, this organization has never solicited for funds, and it is certainly not going to start now. But, but, <laughs> 